Welcome everybody to this channel. My name is Jim. If you're new here, consider subscribing by clicking on the red button below and turn on the bell icon in order not to miss any of my future uploads, guys. In today's video, I will be teaching you guys how to design a corporate business card in Corel Draw. Guys, okay, so over here are my boys. This the head of the family, and this the last born, and this the wife, and this the whatever. So the size I'm going to use for this tutorial is first of all I'm going to place this on inches under my property blank. The page dimension changes to 2.2 by 3.55. We're good. All right, so I'm going to change this to landscape. So the next thing I'm going to do, guys, is select rectangle and double click on it automatically it will come over here remove the outline and guys for a better view and uh, what I'm going to do is select my paper size and change this to a5 size give this an outline and you can do what I'm doing guys but if you don't want to do it you can leave it just get your size and you're good change this to landscape and what I'm going to do is use a shadow this this you can typically gonna use a5 all right so this is what i'm gonna do and this is what i'm gonna get all right guys what i advise you to do is to get a perfect cut in your business card always get your ruler select this rectangle and place this over here just a little you can give this um, maybe 0 0.2 0 0.2 yeah all right guys um let me teach you something let me teach you alignment all right so select this select this and press L letter L on your keyboard this way and automatically you will see it by the left then to place it at the top select letter T and it's at the top waiting for you now what you're going to do is bring in your ruler and this is actually where I brought it from your ruler is here your vertical and horizontal ruler here and here all right so the next thing I'm going to do is bring in this one over here as you can see guys we have a cool dimension and a place to call out our business card so the next thing i'm going to do is select this one and select this when you're selecting guys press shift on your keyboard select press shift and select this one everything is joined together now press b b means bottom bring it down this way okay sorry guys i'm going to break this apart so that it's when yeah break this shadow apart now select this select this press button and as you can see guys it's at the bottom now bring down your ruler here now select this also press and click on r to take it to the right this way you can see your boy over here now bring this one here so as you can see guys we have a cool cutout of our business card now you can do the same with this one so i'm going to fasten this all right guys we're done with this boy delete it and what we're going to do is bring in our logo so I'm going to reduce this and place it at the middle here. Okay, right, guys. So the next thing I'm going to do is copy this and place it over here. Just bring it to the right-hand corner this way. Then break the text apart and break this one apart 
change it to uppercase same with this boy and select everything and use right alignment this way I'm going to place this over here and change the font to Futura is fine then bold this one change this font to Futura and bring this over here So I'm going to color this one green. So guys, the next thing we're going to do is bring in this ones change the font to Futura. Can reduce it and place it over here so guys the next thing we're going to do is import our icons which is this This is the next thing I'm going to do, guys, is remove this background so that I can. So the next thing we're going to do guys is remove this background so we can be able to change the color menu bar select bitmap select mode and select black and white conversation mode leave it on line art that's fine so as you can see this is what we're going to have click ok under your property bar select trace bitmap and outline trace line art then you can leave it to load Alright, finally click OK. Alright, bring it up and delete this one. So you can do the same with this. Okay guys, so I'm gonna copy this and um, bring it over here. Reduce the sizes and place this here and this one which is the email icon, place it in the email and this is the website, place it over here so to get a perfect size, select your ruler and to get a perfect size you can draw it this way, you can drag this way now delete this boy and delete this girl
all right guys so the next thing we're going to do is bring in those ones which is the social media logos and place it over here can reduce the size and place this one here so the social media handle is um c form ah. all right guys so this is actually a random name The next thing we're going to do, guys, is bring in our barcode and place it over here. I'm going to select my rectangle tool and draw this way. Color it green and scale it this way. And select control and click page down on your keyboard this way this is what you're going to have so so i want to create a background from this design so the next thing i'm going to do is duplicate this logo ungroup it and delete the text scale it up select Right click and select power clip, place it inside this way. Right click, select edit power clip, and you can bring this, you can bring this one down. Now bring this one down here this way. This is what you are going to have. Now bring another one over here. Copy and paste power clip one at the back this way. I'm gonna just bring one here. So guys, this is what we are going to have. Alright guys, so this is how to design a business card in Corel Draw. If you have any question, please don't forget, you know the culture, drop me a comment in the comment section below and um, give this video a thumbs up if you love it, I know you do. Share this video with your friends and let me know what you guys think about this design. See you in my next video.